I'm comfortable enough for this video. What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be another exciting video. I'm going to be checking if I have lipstick on my teeth this whole video because I'm wearing like a, a deeper lip shade and I don't want to have lipstick on my teeth for this video. But what's up? Welcome back. Um, so today's video is going to be a video that I've done every year for the past three years, I think. I think it's been three years total I've started doing this video. And it's pretty much where I show you guys my favorite products throughout like the whole year. Um, and I did a poll on or a tool or poll on Twitter where I asked you guys if I should do like top 10 but I think I'm going to add a little bit more than 10 products to this video just because I was looking through everything that I have used this year and I just realized that I have a lot more than just 10 things. I don't do monthly favorites videos because I feel like I already talk about the products enough but since I haven't been doing too many beauty videos I thought that I would share with you guys my favorite products of 2017. I say this every year, but I literally cannot believe this year is already over. Like, so many big and crazy things are happening this year, and I just am so incredibly blessed, and I just can't believe, like, this year coming, 2018, is going to be such a big year for me and for my boyfriend, Hector. So, um... Yeah, I'll go into further details um, probably a little bit after Christmas um, because that's when we're going to kind of sit down and do everything. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on right into this video. I feel like this video may be very long, so make sure you guys go ahead and grab yourself a snack because I don't know how long I'm going to be sitting here talking. Um, I even have my own drink here. And, um, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys everything that's been my favorite. I don't really have, like, categories. I kind of am just going to, like, jump in and just start showing you guys. And then I also have stuff that's in the bathroom that I have to grab once I'm done talking about all the makeup products. So, so, and then let's just forget about my broken nail. I broke it yesterday, and, uh, I was cleaning my leather seats. That's how it happened, and I literally broke my nail right off. Like, it just snapped. So, these are my new nails, and I'm really, really sad that I broke one of them. Them, but yeah, it's gonna bother me this whole video. So just try not to look at this hand, okay? Anyways, so the first thing being, um, I'm gonna talk about some palettes just because I've bought so many palettes this year. I mean, I bought a lot of makeup overall, but palettes were like the main thing. So the first palette, of course, I'm gonna be talking about is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I am so incredibly happy that I put my hands on this original, and it says the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. This palette is my everyday palette. I've used it every day since September, which is not too long but it has been six months so about half the year I've been using this and it's seriously one of my favorite favorite palettes ever I'm so happy that I put my hands on it and I think this palette looks ratchet because I've already dipped into every single color and these ones look really bad because I dipped this little brush in it to use it for my inner corner so it looks a little crazy but this palette is so so stunning I love how everyday colors are in here I literally wear this every single day and I can pick a shadow out of here they're super duper pigmented they blend very beautifully and this is my first Morphe palette and I have a couple more that I've added to the addition to the family what am I saying? I've added a couple more to the family, but this one honestly is like my favorite one. This retails for $38. Um, you can get it at Ulta right now, I think online and in store. Um, I did order this from the Morphe website when it first launched, when it was like having problems with like launching and then relaunching and like this was the second launch. So I'm really, really happy and I bought this in September for my birthday and I've just been obsessed with it and I just love all the colors and it's really, really awesome because it's really good for traveling also because it has so many colors you can just like throw this in your bag and just you know don't worry about bringing 500 palettes with you you just have one and it has a ton of colors and you have you know your warm tone shades you have shades in there that you can go out with for like a nighttime look you got your color pops right here um, and I just think overall it's a stunning palette and I honestly am so happy that I picked it up and I hope that this lasts as long as possible because if she does stop selling it I definitely will pick up a couple more because seriously like that's my favorite palette ever. I absolutely love it. Enough rambling about that palette. My second palette for the month, or for the year, honestly, um, has to be... What did I even do with it? I just said, oh my God. I'm sure that this palette came out this year, and this is the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. This is a glow kit, and I don't have any of the glow kits that Anastasia came out with, but I did purchase this palette when it did launch, and I um, pre-ordered. Like, I signed up for it to get it right when it came in because I was so excited. Um, I did meet Nicole Guerrero in 2011, and she has honestly been one of my favorite YouTubers that I look up to. Um, 
being in the YouTube community, I guess, the beauty community, I look up to so many YouTubers and I just think it's so weird because like they don't even know that like I, I exist honestly, but I like admire them and they're like my role models and I think about like what would it be if my life was like how their life is like living the YouTube dream so yeah it was really cool to meet her and I was really excited because this was limited edition but this honestly is another palette that I absolutely love because one the packaging is stunning I love how beautiful and sparkly and holographic the palette is I think it's super pretty and then all the shades in the palette are super duper beautiful and I just love like having a palette full of just highlighters I'd never bought a palette full of highlighters before so I was super excited to kind of have it because um, highlighters and foundations and eyeshadow palettes are something that I always dig into and I'm always buying so I was like this is super cool that she came out with a palette with six different highlighters so it's really good for traveling and also these freaking highlighters are super stunning I'm wearing them right now and I've been really into using just the three down here I haven't really ever touched the top ones so it's forever lit glow getter and 143 I just dip in together and I get really really pretty highlight I love it and it's always super blinding um, and I just think that this is super cute and it's super small I feel like it like it just fits in my purse like I can bring it with me one thing I did wish that it did have a um, I wish it had a mirror on it because sometimes you just got to reapply highlight throughout the day but um, I just love this palette and it's been like my favorite palette to really dig into for highlight um, it's been like my grab for every time and every time me and Hector travel somewhere I'm always bringing this palette because I just love it so so much and I just am so happy that I got my hands on it and let me know down below in the comments if you guys have a favorite um, glow kit and if I should get it definitely leave it down below there is one I think it's the newest one, one with the, the shade Marshmallow in it. I really did want to try that palette. So I may pick that one up, but um, I really loved this throughout the year. And honestly, like, I don't know. I just really, really loved it. Beauty makeup product that I really loved this year is the Fuego Highlighter from Dose of Colors. This was part of the Desi and Katie collection. I did not buy anything else other than this and a lipstick because I was just so tempted to buy everything, which I should have bought Hot Fire, but I didn't, but that's okay. But this highlighter is also a win for the year is that palette and this these are like my bounce back and forth palettes um this is my first thing from dose of colors also and I just love it so so much it honestly looks like I haven't even used it it is a little dirty but like you can't even tell that I've dipped into it barely um, I love the shimmer in this like it's so beautiful like let me show you guys do you guys see that that is so beautiful I absolutely like am obsessed with this highlighter it's so pretty on the skin and it's just like the right champagne kind of gold but has like a little bit of a hint of like silver underneath of it but it's mainly gold and I just love it so much and I always mix it in with the um, three colors in this palette in with Fuego and I just I just love it and it has a cute little mirror and of course the packaging is super duper cute so I absolutely love this the oldest thing I wanted to talk about in my makeup collection slash favorites for this year is Maybelline's highlighter this is the um, master chrome highlighter in molted gold if you guys remember back a couple videos back or like this year when it came out I was on a hunt for it forever and I finally found it at a Target in San Francisco and I'm so happy that I found this highlighter it's so so stunning I probably will pick up another one because this one's like pretty destroyed and I haven't used it in a while but this highlighter is like seriously so amazing it feels so creamy like that's just barely me even swiping my hand in it um, and here is the swatch right here so it is a deeper like gold than um, Fuego but I still really love it and and it's like super overpowering like it's a straight up gold highlighter which I've never go for but this is super creamy and it's so beautiful on the skin and just looks perfect in the summer for like like sun kissed glow and honestly it's like my favorite drugstore highlighter other than the wet and wild highlighters but this highlighter is definitely one drugstore highlighter of the year and for me in my books like this is seriously such a stunning highlighter and this year I feel like I bought so many highlighters but those three were just like on fire absolutely love them uh, I'm gonna move on to other face products um, my favorite powder of the year I feel like this kind of I guess I'm gonna say win in my books because um, I have like a lot of products that I've just been obsessed with and in my eyes they're perfect um, so the favorite my favorite face powder of the year has to be this bad boy I've had I've had two of these because I just use it every single day 
Um, this is beautiful. I'm on the email restock list for the um, highlighter that they came out with with one of the YouTubers. I forgot her name, but I am on um, email relaunch for that because I wanted to try it. It has like the same packaging. This face powder is so bomb. I probably could get a lighter shade because I've not been self tan. As you can tell, your girl is real pale, but this e.l.f. finishing powder is so beautiful. It's in the shade light to medium, and I have never found a powder that I love anything more than like this one. It is so, so beautiful, and it's so matte on the skin. It really kind of feels like it just refreshes and sets on my makeup. My face does not get oily throughout the day, and I just feel like it really sets everything. It looks beautiful on the skin, and it kind of has like a nice like a nice kind of powdery smell. I don't know, not like baby powder, but it smells really good. And it also has a really nice mirror and the packaging is just super stunning. It looks really dirty because I have fingerprints all over it. But seriously, I just love this powder and it sets everything and it still makes me feel like I have skin, like I'm not caked on or anything like that. And this is at Target and I got it for $6 and I get a couple of them every time I go because I don't ever want to run out because it's beautiful and honestly I feel like I've never found a powder that pretty and soft on the skin as that one so if you guys have not tried out that powder definitely go check it out because I absolutely love it um, so bronzer of the year for me so I bought two of these I have a light shade and I also have a dark if you guys know me and you've been watching me for a while you know how obsessed I am with the physician formula butter bronzer this bronzer is the shit I seriously am obsessed I've only bought in high-end bronzers and I've also also bought in a Rimmel bronzer and honestly this has nothing compared to any bronzer that I've ever used even an Anastasia bronzer no hate on that concert kit because I use it every day but these bronzers are beautiful they smell so tropical like you're literally in a tropical island and it's on your face like you just smell super dude super dude <laughs> now it smells really really good and it's super smooth and soft on the skin and I feel like it never really gets muddy it just always looks really warm and pretty on the skin I'm wearing it right now and I feel like either when I am super self tan or even when I'm pale it looks so natural on the skin and everybody always asks me girl your contour is on fleek what bronzer do you use Physician Formula, $13 at the drugstore. Kind of pricey, but I really love it. Light bronze, and then this one is in bronzer, which is the one I've been using because it's a lot deeper, and when I'm self-tanned, I kind of need that. But it's so beautiful, and it's so smooth. Like, girl, you have to try it. And it smells really, really good. That's the shade right here. So that's the dark one. It is pretty dark, but it looks really, really good on the skin. And honestly, like, I don't know where I was without this bronzer. Like, seriously. I love it. I don't know what else to say about it other than like how beautiful it is on the skin and it just blends out super smooth and it looks so natural. It doesn't look like I'm super contoured unless I apply a lot, but that's my favorite bronzer of the year. My next face product, I would have to say, I recently picked this up, but honestly, I would say that this is my favorite, like, baking powder. This is the uh, Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Banana Powder, and this says, the natural heat from your body will cook powder over base, foundation, or concealer, giving you a flawless finish. I don't even know where I was without this. Um, there's a lot of products I've just tried, and I'm just like, girl, where in the world was I at without this product? Honestly, okay, I just shook the whole camera, sorry. Honestly, I just picked this up a couple weeks ago at Ulta, and it's only like eight bucks, I think, or six bucks, and I'm obsessed. I love baking under my eyes with it. I love carving out my contour with it, and there's so many of these out there, and I found this on Amazon, and I almost bought it, and then I realized it's Makeup Revolution, and I was like, holy shit, like, I can find that Ulta so I'm really really excited I picked this up I just I don't know I was using the banana shades from Anastasia and I feel like I've never tried another like shade that was like really not too yellow but this is pretty yellow but it looks really good on the skin it looks pretty natural and it sets everything beautifully and it's super soft it doesn't feel any chalky it doesn't feel chalky or anything like that and I just really love it and this is what the packaging looks like it's super small and cute does it not want to focus focus for me girl girl Okay, yeah, that's super weird. It doesn't want to focus. It like focuses on my hand, but not the bottle. There we go. So that's what it looks like, and I really, really love it, and I just, I haven't even used that much, but I'm obsessed. Like, I have to bake everything, and it just really helps carve out my contour, and it makes it look really, really soft, and it looks really, really good. So another favorite thing of mine, I think this one, like, product like foundation of the year 
that's for my ring light. Light is the cord is so freaking long. I feel like it's attaching itself to everything. Um, I probably have more foundations that I tried this year, but I can't think of any of them. Foundation of the year award goes to the Huda Beauty Foundation. Girl, I am obsessed with this foundation. I have used it literally every single day since I've bought it, unless I'm not using, unless I'm not wearing makeup. Like honestly, this is like my favorite favorite foundation. I never get oily. I can wear this all day at work from like 5 in the morning until like 7 o'clock at night and it still looks super stunning. It's so soft. I don't have any face powder on right now because I'm not going anywhere so I was like I don't even need to set my face. Like my face just it looks good anyways. But this foundation is so beautiful on the skin. I love the smell. I love the way it feels on my face. I love how buildable it is and how full coverage it is. Like honestly, I've never found a foundation that's just this beautiful on my face. Like I absolutely love it. If you have not tried this foundation, you definitely need to. I did a review on it. I'll leave it down below. It was a fail because I bought the wrong shade, but now I'm matching so I look great. Um, and um, they have they have weird shade ranges, but honestly, that foundation is amazing. I absolutely love it and I will continue to purchase it until it stops selling. Um, it does run for $40 at Sephora, so if you guys are wondering, that's where you can pick it up. Um, two drugstore foundations that hit the word for the year um, would have to be the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This one is in soft beige. I love this foundation for like an everyday wear. It's not too full coverage. Um, one thing that I don't like about this foundation has to be the smell. It does smell like straight up paint, um, but it has really good coverage and it looks really, really good on the skin. And it's pretty good for a drugstore. And I think this foundation is like six bucks. Um, and this bottle is pretty crusty because I haven't used it in a long time. But I love how it has the stick, so it really helps you apply it to your face. And I just, I don't know, I haven't worn it in a really long time, but I really do love this foundation and the Healthy Elixir, which I don't have right now. That also won a really good award for the, the drugstore. And then um, for my everyday everyday use that I was wearing a lot this year um, until I ran out and I haven't bought another one but I kept the bottle. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and it took me forever to try this out because I was really not too much of a fan of the matte one but this one really got me and I'm like girl like I was shook when I tried this on because I didn't want to be super glowy throughout the year but then when I tried this I was like oh my god like it looks so pretty it was so natural like you could wear this to the gym you know if you're like kind of uncomfortable without wearing any makeup this is a really good foundation. It kind of reminds me of a BB cream, but it's not. It's pretty much a foundation. You throw them out, but I knew I was going to do this video this year, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep that. So, um, let's talk about some other things. I really hope this video is probably, it's probably going to be like 30 minutes long, but you know what? I don't even care. So, one of my favorite primers for this year, I feel like I have more than one primer, but, um... I'm just going to go for this one because I don't remember all the primers that I used this year. This year went by fast, but I feel like I some of it was a blur. Um, but my favorite primer recently has been the Milani Prime Light Face Primer. This is strobing and pore minimizing and it's oil free. I really like this because it does really give kind of like a nice glow to your skin. And I like that look, but I don't like to look like a super shiny like disco ball. Like I like to look like glowy natural but not like too too matte like right now I have a little bit of a glow to the skin um, but I do really like this primer and I did try out a bunch of primers like I said but I don't have any right now other than this one because I've used like all of them up and I honestly can't think of the other primers that I've used this year I know that's bad favorite concealer for this year um, and this is like the only one that I really, really liked. Um, I tried out the L'Oreal one. I tried out the Milani one. Um, I tried a, more of the, um, what is it called? Not L'Oreal. There was another brand I tried out. Oh, the Wet n Wild concealer. None of these concealers literally like beat this concealer I'm about to show you. This is my Tarte Shape Tape. This is like my home girl right here. I honestly, like, this is my favorite product of the year, I want to say. Other than all the other favorites that are in this video, this is seriously... The best concealer hands on that I've ever, ever tried. And I also bought one of my friends this concealer to try because I was like, girl, you have to have it. Like, it's so beautiful on the skin. So full coverage. It smells really good. The packaging is super duper cute. And I just love how well this blends and brightens up the eyes and gives me more coverage. Um, and I don't know where I was without this, honestly. I put it off for the longest time because I'm like, 
I'm not about to spend $25 on a concealer, but then I'm like, now, when I went to buy it, I was like, this is the best concealer ever. Like, where was I without this? Like, honestly, I just really love it, and I have the shade Fair, which is, I think, the lightest one, um, but I need to get some more because I'm running out, but honestly, this is such a beautiful concealer, and I will continue to repurchase this because it's like my homegirl. So this is my favorite concealer ever, top beauty product of the 2017 year, Tarte Shape Tape. So, moving on to brows, um, two awards that won me this year. If you guys know, I bought this, or I got this for Christmas a couple years ago, and I haven't been using this for eyeshadow, I have been using it for my brows, along with the Anastasia Pomade. This is in soft brown. I like to wet this because it is dried up, so I like to wet and kind of just fill in my brows wherever it needs to be filled. So I really do love the pomade, and then I've been using the Naked Smokes palette, and I've been using the shade Whiskey on my brows. Literally, that's what I have on my brows. I've been doing it every day for the past couple months and I absolutely love it and I tried to not dip too much because I don't want to run out of that shade because I don't want to go buy something else for my brows because I just love the way that they look and they look super natural and I just I don't know I just am obsessed I've been using these palettes this palette for other shadows but mainly for the eyeshadow for my brows and I really love it I think it looks really natural and it matches my color on my hair is really perfect but it kind of lightens up my brows just a little bit. Hopefully my makeup looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, it just lightens my brows up a little bit because my hairs are black, but this is like a deep brown. Um, so, and then I'm going to move on to, um, I guess I'll move on to um, lip colors because I have quite a few. I put them all in this drawer the other day because, oh goodness, because I feel like I use lip products every single day. And it's so weird because I used to not even do lip products, but now like every day I'm like, Girl, if I do my makeup, I cannot leave the house without it on. So this is my drawer full of lip products, and I want to go through them with you guys. Um, so, it's just a couple. Of, they're all mainly drugstore, because I don't really ever spend big bucks on lip products. So I feel like the drugstore just has so many good ones. Um, but these are just my top few that I'm obsessed with. So, I've been obsessed with the brand um, Koki and NYX brand. Um, I've gotten a the pinkish nude that I've been wearing. I'm not going to go get it because I don't have time for that because I want to get this video up as soon as I film it. But um, I have a bunch of these Koki lipsticks. And these are the liquid lipsticks. Um, one of these, I don't think it's this one. Maybe it is. This one, one of, yeah, it's this one is more glossy than the other ones that I have. But these are the Koki lip cream glosses in Brilliant. Um, this is in Mocha Madness. I love these lip colors. This one's the shimmery one, or not shimmery, but it's very liquidy. And then this is the one in uh, Mad About Mauve, which I'm wearing right now over top of my lip liner. Um, I have two lip liners from them, and I love their lip liners also. I have not tried anything else other than the face powder from them. Um, and you can get this brand at Walmart. And I got these two lip liners this year, and I've been obsessed with them. I love wearing this. I'm wearing this one right now, but I love wearing this when I wear deep lips or red, and then this one I could wear just by itself. And um, these two are what I have on my lips right now, if you guys are wondering. Um, but this lip liner is in the shade... Um, uh, wine number 518 and it's just a really pretty burgundy wine shade and then this one is in the shade warm nude and I love this one because it goes with all my everyday lip colors like this NYX um, liquid lipstick that I got I love it. It's so beautiful. Um, but I like to use these together. I just feel like when I use a liquid lipstick or I'm wearing lipstick regular lipstick I feel like I always have to wear a lip liner just because I feel like the lipstick can get all over my lips and I feel like it kind of helps it stay in place so these have been my favorites and then yeah this one is really pretty and I have it on my lips right now I have it over with that red lip liner so it looks kind of like creamier but it has two shades to it if you guys are wondering and then my last favorite lip product of the year is the dose of colors um more coffee please lipstick this was also limited edition from their collection and it's just an everyday nude and it also looks really good with this nude lip liner so those are my favorites lip products that i used for this year and i've been obsessed with um also, my Kat Von D Bow and Arrow, which I ran out of, so I haven't bought it. Um, I've been obsessed with that one, too. And that one looks like the next one. Um, oh, I didn't even tell you guys the name of the next one. The next one is in the shade Beyond Basic. So... So, moving on, I also wanted to talk about... I didn't even talk about this for my brows. I've been obsessed with it the, this year. It's the L'Oreal Brow, Brow Stylist Shape and Fill Pencil. This is my um, favorite friend right here with my powder. Um, if I feel like I just need to add something, which, like, right now I could... 
I literally just kind of like blend in hairs with this. It's pretty waxy, but I love that it has a spoolie and it just really helps fill in my brows super natural. This year I really worked on my brows, like honestly, and contouring and highlighting, but like I really focused on um, doing my brows because I feel like they never looked that good. When I was watching my old videos, I was like, who in the hell is that? Like, I did not know how to do eyebrows. Now I'm like, that's the main focus. Every day when I do my brows, I gotta make them perfect. So this was also a really good win. And you get this at Walmart in the L'Oreal section. So, moving on. I'm still not even halfway through. This is just the makeup, but this is a yearly favorite. So that's 12 months of products. And I never do product videos, so hang in there with me. So, my next favorite thing is also makeup. I'm literally almost done with makeup, and then we're going to move on to lifestyle and all the other stuff. Um, another favorite I recently picked up, but this has been a win for me. Um, I did a video using this. And I actually put on my Christmas list for the mini all it's a mini one of this But it's all the shades and it's a gift a gift box from Sephora I really love these glitters. They're so beautiful And I was always looking for a glitter that would stay on on my eyes and not trans transfer to my crease And this is the Sila glitter in gold goddess. I don't even know where I was glitter wise without this honestly that's a swatch of it right here. It's so beautiful. I just think it looks so pretty on my eyes and I just love it. I want to go buy all of them, but I feel like my Ulta's always sold out. I probably should just order them online if Santa does not get me this for Christmas, but I love the Stila glitters and they are just so beautiful and pigmented and there's so many of them out there, but honestly, I feel like that's like the top rated glitter. Um, so my next favorite thing, which I think is going to be my last makeup product is my mascara and this won me for the year um, for mascara. I tried out a couple of them this year, but this one was honestly my favorite and I've had it for a couple months now and this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and I have the shade black of course this mascara has changed my life I absolutely love it it just makes my lashes look super dark super full and really lengthened and makes them like separated I feel like I can never get them to look clumpy with this mascara no matter how many times you apply it, any coats and it also looks really really good on my lower lashes I have it on right now my camera's dying so I'm gonna have to be back um but I never found a mascara that looked really good on my lower lashes. I feel like it was always too hard to like get it in there without clumping up or getting mascara on. But I just feel like this wand just is super thin, but it has so many bristles on it that it makes it super easy to kind of wiggle through your lashes without getting mascara everywhere. So, and I believe that they still sell this, so it should be at any of your drugstores. But I'm probably going to repurchase this forever, and I don't think I need any more mascaras. Um, but that was my favorite one for this year. I'm going to go ahead and charge my camera and then I will be right back. I just charged my camera, um, home, uh, skincare, and then like shower and body and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to start off with the stuff in my shower because I do want to go put this back because I don't like putting stuff out because then I always forget it in here. Um, so the first thing being something that I use, if you guys can tell, my hair looks a lot different than it was in my last video. I did get obsessed with this shampoo within a week and I know it's not really like a yearly favorites but this is my favorite purple shampoo ever. I have used like three of them I think and all of them like somehow turned my hair like green or like blue and I just feel like it never toned out the yellow and I literally put this shampoo in my hair for the first time the other day. It looks like I just got my hair done which I haven't got it done. I haven't got it done in a month and I get it done on Tuesday and today is Saturday. So it looks freshly dyed or toned. I curled it um, and some of the pieces in my hair look a little purple which is normal but I don't don't mind about that but um let's see if I can zoom you guys out just a teeny tiny bit there we go I'll just have you guys zoomed out a little bit um so yeah this purple shampoo is bomb.com I love it so I literally put it in my hair and I like soaked my hair in it but I didn't like put it on my root because it's kind of a waste because I don't do my roots because roots and blonde hair just don't match together. I've tried it. Um, but this is the Joyco Color Balance Purple Shampoo that I bought at Ulta for $13, I think. And I'm obsessed. My hair looks beautiful. As you know, I'm blonde, so I'm trying to get as blonde and platinum as I can. Um, it's really hard to keep it blonde without it getting yellow. So I'm really happy that I found a shampoo that actually works. So definitely try this out if you have not and you have purple hair or... <laughs> If you have blonde hair and or gray hair, this helps with toning out the yellow. So I absolutely love that shampoo. 
that's a definitely hit for this month slash I'm going to continue to buy it forever until I find another one that's even better. Um, the next thing that I love for my hair is my actual shampoo, which I'm running out of. This is the shampoo I use. I only use that three times a week because that's what it says to do, and I found that it actually works really, really good, so I'm going to keep up with that. Um, but this is my favorite shampoo. I've been buying it for the past, like, five or six months. Um, I've gone through a bunch of these, and these are expensive. I would recommend going to Costco and getting these because they're really big bottles, but you can get them for a two-pack, I think. Um, but this is the Garnier um, Smoothing Shampoo, Coconut Oil, and Cocoa Butter. It tames and controls frizzy hair because my hair is so poofy and frizzy when I brush it. It looks like I didn't even brush it because my hair gets so poofy. And today was the first day that I've done my hair um, and I just I want to start curling it like just the ends because sorry, look at my mirror's over here and I got a mirror over here um, but yeah so I just want to start curling it um, and so I want to keep it all nice and tamed but it gets crazy because I don't ever do I just bun brush and wash that's pretty much all I do but this shampoo smells so good it smells exactly like coconut and I love that smell because it just smells so like refreshing like fresh out of the shower and I smell it in my hair all day like it still smells like it and I wash my my hair yesterday so I really love the smell of it and it's very smoothing on my hair if that's the right word like it makes my hair really really soft and it always smells really good like coconut and I absolutely love this this bottle I get either at Target Walmart or um I think that's it. Yeah, Target and Walmart. Those are the only stores I've bought this at, and it's $8. Oh, and I was going to say Rayleigh's, which is kind of like a Publix, but we have it Rayleigh's here in Northern California, and I get it there too. So it is pricey, so I'd recommend trying to find it if you want to get it in a two-bottle pack because it'd probably be cheaper, but this bottle is huge, and I've used it up, but I use a lot of shampoo because I have thick-ass hair, and it takes forever to wash, so, but this is seriously like my favorite shampoo of the year. I've been using it for so long, like I'm obsessed, and I also have been using a really good conditioner, but I kind of go between conditioners. Conditioner, so I don't want to show you one and tell you it's my favorite because I haven't found a favorite conditioner yet But that's my favorite shampoo combo I've been using and then I also have a shower gel that I just got all over my hands um, but it's been my favorite for I feel like this whole year, but I've just bought like different scents, but of this shower gel or shower gel Why can I not talk now? This is the shaving cream and this is the Gillette Venus Olay shave cream and it's in the scent Frisia Frisia I don't know. It's in a purple bottle. This stuff smells so good. It's so sweet and so flirty. It just smells really good. kind of smells floral a little bit. I don't really know how to explain it, but I really love this because my legs get so dry in the winter and when I tan, my legs like crack for some reason. And I really like using this when I shave because it just really helps moisturize my legs and kind of help them keep them smooth and all that for when I do self tan, which I haven't self tan yet for this winter. I haven't tanned in a little while. Um, I've been pretty pale. So um, that is my favorite shower gel. And then another thing, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna move towards skincare. It's like, this is random stuff. So, but this is my favorite makeup remover of the year. This definitely is one of my favorite makeup removers ever. I don't ever use wipes anymore because I feel like I was spending way too much money. Like every month I would be going to Target buying makeup remover wipes and it's just not worth it to me and I found this at the store one day when I was at the store with my mom and I was looking and I was like Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel. I thought it was like a moisturizing gel or something and then I looked and it was a makeup remover. So this stuff smells really, really good. So one, the smell is awesome, which is great because I love when stuff smells good when I'm putting it on my face. And it's very smooth, like it makes my skin really, really soft and it takes away all my makeup. Like I literally get in the shower with a full B face like this, minus my lashes, and then just rub everything in circular motions and it just wipes everything off my face. And then I guess just go ahead and do my skincare, but I seriously love this and this is a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel. So this does kind of get expensive depending on where you pick it up. I found it at Target for $8 and I know other places sell it for more but that stuff is seriously worth it for me because I do wear a lot of makeup and I used to go through like four or five wipes each time I did my face and I just think that it's like the best so definitely check that out if you have not. You got a good makeup remover on your hands. Um, the next thing I've really been loving, um, my skin has been going crazy this whole year and I went on doxycycline which is 
pretty much a pill for any like bacteria in your body so kind of like if you have like well, I had this thing on my arm I think I talked to you guys about it but I had it on my arm so they gave it to me for that reason but then it was clearing up my face but it was drying up my face so bad like I was peeling and so my sister was talking to me about tea tree oil and um, like actually oil like this like you can diffuse it and then this is like one that you can use for your skin so I get this at Rite Aid and this is the tea tree oil um, pure it says pure Australian oil. This stuff smells horrific. Like, honestly, I hate putting it on my face because it smells weird, it tingles, and it makes, makes my lips numb when I like, kind of, when it gets close to them. And it's kind of weird, but this stuff has cured my skin super well, like tremendously. Like my face looks so good, but it is super scarred. It's very red, so it does still look like I'm always gonna have acne. But once my face is completely cured, I do want to get, um, or cleared I should say, I wanna get laser to pull out the red in my skin because I feel like it's just so bad. Um, you guys see me all the time without makeup on and it just looks really bad, um, but I've got really bad hormonal acne and I think that's like a really hard thing to deal with. So it's really nice having something like this to really help dry and clear everything up and keep it tamed down, especially because I have not been wearing makeup recently. Um, so I've really been loving this, and the brand is Sundown Natural. So you can look this up. They also have it at Trader Joe's, but I've got this one at Rite Aid. Body Shop Tea Tree Mask from Ulta, which this is really expensive. So I've really been kind of like being careful with the amount I've used. I've had it for a month now, and it doesn't even look like I've touched much, but I used what was on the lid first, and then I used this because I want to make it last. Um, this isn't that big of a container either, but... This smells a lot better than the oil. It's not as strong, um, but this feels really good. And I wear this like on my days off or I wear it as soon as I get home, I will take a shower and wash my face and then I will wear this for like 20 minutes. It says to um, leave for 10 to 15 minutes and use one time, one to two times a week. So I use it twice a week, just like it says, and it really helps. Um, with that, with using my regular skincare and the tea tree oil body shop because it really helps with my skin and I've been loving it this year. And this is the Secret Outlast Extend Completely Clean Scent and this is a gel deodorant which is so new to me because I used to use spray deodorants but I realized how toxic they are and this one is not organic either. I was using an organic one before but this one is not strong. It smells really good and just smells like you fresh got out of the shower and it lasts all day and I always smell it and I just use it twice so I, I roll it up twice and then um, I get the deodorant out and it lasts all day so really love this deodorant. I talk fast now because I feel like I've been sitting here forever but why not. Um, so one thing that's been like my favorite this year is I've been really into buying warmer like scents. These little waxy things. Um, I haven't bought any since I talked about my fall essentials video so I'm really proud of myself. But I think I've bought in pretty much every single one that they have that I really liked so that's probably why I haven't bought any. Um, but these are the Scent Sensationals uh, Pumpkin Apple Muffins and this was a limited edition fall scent. I really love these. I used to burn them all the time in my room um, and in the kitchen and the bathroom. I still do the bathroom mainly because I don't have a spray in there. Um, most people have like a shit spray that they spray when someone goes to the bathroom but I don't like to spray I just like to have a warmer on in the bathroom all times and it smells really good so I like to burn this one vanilla caramel spice I use and then these are just my top three and then honey crisp cider so right now I have a coffee cake one burning um, and it's been my favorite and this is the warmer that I have this is my newest one I have an elephant one as well but it um, I need to get the light bulb somewhere I put the light bulb somewhere and these take certain bulbs. I have no idea where I put them, but these are amazing. I love them. And that this is my waffle one that I have in here right now, or the pumpkin or coffee bread, sorry. But this is what my waffle armor looks like, and it's super cute. And it was ten dollars at Walmart. They have a bunch of them, and I have a couple of these. And then now they've came out with bigger ones of these, so you probably burn, burn more warmers in there. But I love these. You just plug them in, and they make your house smell delicious. But that's been like my favorite thing this year. I'm gonna move on to my candles, my skincare, and then we're gonna be out of here because I want to edit the rest of this video and get it up because I'm tired and it's getting late. Um, so another thing that I picked up, 
Um, I have a video coming out this week. It's my Christmas wish list video, so you, it'll make more sense once that video is up. But I talked about how this year I've gotten a new job and I've been able to buy myself more things than I've ever had been able to buy myself before. And this year, one thing I've wanted forever, for like three years, I've wanted the Loving Tan and I finally bought it. I need to get another one because it's almost gone, but I haven't been tanning, so I don't need to buy another one right now. But this is the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Ultra Dark. This has seriously been like my top like thing to do not as like right now but this year I tanned so much and this is such a beautiful tan it looks so good on your skin and it says that it dries quickly and it has a natural olive color so it does look kind of off from a natural tan but it looks really natural if that makes sense um, and it doesn't stink it's not sticky I love it I've still been wanting to film a, a tanning routine video I just don't know how I want to film it like I don't know how I'm gonna stand and show you guys me tanning because half the time I'm like naked out of the shower so it's kind of like I don't know how I'm gonna film that but but one of these days I will show you guys a routine of me using this because I seriously love it and then I just tan with my Saint Tropez tanning mint so that has been my all-time favorite skincare tanning stuff um, so Duval I think that's how you say it and they sent me this new um, skincare I, don't, I think they sent it to me like two months ago and I've been using it for two months and I seriously am obsessed with it. Um, I put it, all of the pieces to it in this little bag and um, it came with three different or four different brush heads and it, came with, it comes with the body brush. It has a little thing for like your feet. It's got pumice stone and then it also has a smaller one and then I have this smaller one but it's... Um, right here on it already and you just turn it on and it's so soft on my skin seriously I've been using it with my philosophy um, face wash which has also been one of my favorites and it's just so smooth and I feel like this is like the only machine that I've used that actually helps with my acne as well because I was using the Clarisonic but I felt like it was so harsh and it was really pushing into my skin so thank you so much for sending this to me and I actually have a coupon code for you guys down below where you guys can check out this because I've been using I'm not sure if Soap and Glory has a big one of these but I picked this up at Target and I think it was like four bucks. Um, I was actually looking for stocking stuff for things and I found this the other day and I was like, you know, well, it was a couple weeks ago. Um, but this is the uh, Righteous Butter Body Moisturizer and this stuff smells so good. I'm obsessed. I literally put it on my hands every morning when I wake up and I also put it on my feet, my arms and legs when I get out of the shower every night and my body has just been super soft and it smells so good. I don't ever know how to like describe things, but this just smells super duper like feminine and floral and sweet but not too much and that's how much I've used. I love it, um, but I've been obsessed with this and I also love to use this before I tan because it really helps moisturize my body really well. And then I am gonna talk about a couple of my candles and then I will hop off here. Um, this is like the longest video I think I've ever filmed on my channel, but I've seen people talk for like hours so Hopefully I'm not talking too much, but this is my, my yearly favorites. Uh, but I did want to talk about my favorite candles, even though um, I just showed these in a haul. I've already burned through like this whole entire candle almost. Like it's almost gone. Can you see that? This is the um, White Barnes Smoked Birch. This has been my favorite candle um, of this month for December. I love it since I've got it. Um, I've also been really obsessed with the But First Coffee, which is almost gone as well. This is my last candle that has gone through the year because this candle for some reason burns really slow. I got it at TJ Maxx and this is the warm tobacco pipe. My mom really likes this one too. I think I might burn it tonight, but this has been one of my favorite candle scents of the year other than all the other ones I got in Bath and Body Works. TJ Maxx always has really good candles, but when you go in there, you better pick it up because it's probably not going to be in there when you get back. But um, yeah, I've really been loving this and it's by the brand um, Richie Scented Candle. That's the name and it's uh, hand poured and it says it burns up to 56 hours approximately. I've burned this thing for like seven hours and that's as far as it's gone. Like this candle has lasted me the whole year. So love this candle but Honestly, I think that is it for this video. I probably missed out on a lot, but I feel like I showed you guys like pretty much everything that I even own, but not really. This is just honestly everything that's been my favorite for this whole year, and next year, hopefully, um, I will be in my own house to film this video, and I will have a lot more of like lifestyle things to show you guys versus like beauty related, but this year, I actually had beauty things to talk about. If you guys watched my last 
um, Best of Beauty 2015, 2016. I'll link them down below so you guys can kind of do like a throwback Thursday um, and look at my old videos. That would be really cool. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy and let me know your favorite products for this year down below. And I will have a couple more videos up for this week so don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And thank you so much for watching. L uh, leave me a comment down below if you sat here for the full hour that this pr video probably was or 45 minutes because that'd be fun to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching and until next time I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!